Oh, hi everyone, this is Christina. I'm very excited to introduce to you my new EA, Complete Order Entry, or COE and COE Pro. So this is a brief introduction video only. If you are looking for the detailed information on how to use this EA, please refer to the instruction video. So what does this EA do? This EA does one thing only, but it does this very well, which is help the user to open order manually with precise control. Let me give you a quick tour. This EA has a very small footprint on chart. All the function is executed within this sub-window. Okay, so for this sub-window, there are four things we can control. Price, TP, stop, and lot size. For each sub window, it takes care of three different kind of orders, market order or pending order, which is either a stop or a limit. EA will automatically detect based on where your entry price is. And now we have a switch of uh, no TP to having TP. And th here's where you set the TP distance. Switch for stop loss. Switch for lot size, either fixed lot size or money management lot size. Whatever you have changed here, here we always have a real-time live update on the status. And in terms of changing all these prices here, you have two ways. One is changing the PIP value directly on the panel, or you can change by dragging the lines. When it comes to drag the lines, there is a one really unique function here. You will find it very useful because a lot of times traders wanted to trade support or resistance on chart. And if we, if I simply, if I wanted to put my take profit at the high of this candle, it would be very hard to do. I can do it with. Um, make it approximately that value, but I can never be sure. And now you can use this. Whenever this is selected, meaning snap to a candle, you just need to put your, uh, you just need to drop this price at this candle. Anywhere above the middle line of this candle, it will snap to the top. Once again, and here, if you, I can snap, drop it anywhere in the lower half of the candle, it will snap to the low, to the low. Okay. And furthermore, this EA give you the option to snap precisely to the low and high or a few pips from it. And this is what this function just gives you. So when it comes to lot size, see, you have two ways of controlling it. Either here you input the fixed lot size or you input the percentage. And lot size is automatically calculated based on the stop loss and the amount of money you want to risk. And here you have a detailed update here, real time. Every time you change anything affect the lot size, you will have this update. This is the actual lot size. This is a risk in terms of percentage. And this is the risk in terms of actual money amount, okay? And this is the button you're going to click when you wanted to open a trade. Before you open trade, this EA is going to check one more time, see if anything is invalid. For example, if I, if I accidentally put anything in the invalid place, here it shows you TP is invalid. Or I could See, uh, lot size in, is invalid. It's less than broker minimal. If anything is invalid, and here it will show you invalid price and please adjust, you will have a chance to adjust it. For example, like this. And then I'll do something else. 0.05%. This is 0 0.01 lot. When everything is fine, you click this and this EA will open the order for you and then delete the sub panel. When it comes to the COE Pro version, 
it has an interface that's extremely similar to the free version with only one added function here, which is a grid trading ability. This is very powerful though. Let me give you some uh, example here. So now I want to close this window without opening order. I use this. I'm going to restart the EA with, with my default order entry setting. I'm going to, going to default always with no stop loss, no take profit, and with fixed lot of 0 0.01. Now, let's also make the line move buffer to be 5 pips. I'm going to demonstrate to you that function again. Very interesting. Let's say when I do the line, if I, I choose 5 pips, I just need to drop this below this candle. However it is, it's automatically snapped to the 5 pips below its low. That's what this function tells you. And now, let me do this. So now I want to open a pending order. I wanted to open a pending order at, for example, what if I wanted to, oh, I already did. I already selected snap to grid. If I don't slap this, I could move to anywhere I want. However, it will be really hard for me to move to a round, round figure. But once I click this, I have already set up my grid interval to be 10 pips. So I just need to drop this anywhere close to a, to a grid. It will snap to the grid. See, I, I put it in between these two, whichever I drop. Whichever line is closer, it will snap to that line. Okay, this is very useful if you want to trade the grid. Okay, now let me just select this. I'm going to open a market order right here. So we open a buy market order. Obviously, this order price could be anywhere. Okay, now what if... I wanted to open a pending order precisely 30 pips above this order. So now, if this pending order, by using this alone, it won't get me there because this is a round figure number, but not really 30 pips above this order. What I do is this. This is another function. So before this is clicked, and this tells me I will snap to the chart price grid. But once this is clicked, I have this thing appears. First, this is basically my base grid. I'm going to drop it to somewhere close to a price, close to an order open price or order stop loss or order take profit but it will automatically snap to this order. Now, whenever I move, you can see here, it will be 10 pip multiple of distance to this order. Now, if I wanted to open a pending order 30 pips above, you can see here, this is precisely 30 pips above. Now it's 40 pips above. Now it's 50 pips above. So I can have this control here because I have selected grid. I've also selected to snap to order grid. Okay, now I open, buy stop order open. This is precisely six, 60 pip above. I hope you can see the powerful things we have designed with in terms of uh, grid trading. And I hope you enjoy it.